Hi everybody, so the next prompt for hashtag Provember 24 hosted by Priscilla at Release the Crafton is Lilies. We're still on Dreamland. The last one is Lilies. And I felt bad because my Lily dye has not come in yet. Um, so I'm going to just improvise. And I'm going to just, these are some um, library pouches, cards, inserts, whatever, that I use in my journals. So I guess I will just decorate this. Um, I ended up finding an image online that, you know, I'll just color in. But I think my package is coming in two days, so I was like, Arr. you know, like I couldn't. Well, some people are doing them by the week. I could have waited, but I didn't want to wait that long. So I'm just going to wing it with this. It, you know, it kind of sucks when you already have a plan for something, but it doesn't come in right away. I thought there'd be a chance that it would get here, but it didn't, so that's all right. We'll just wing it with this other thing. So I found this image, and I guess I'm going to cut it out. See, it's a skull with lilies. I'm going to cut it out. I'm going to fussy cut it and just put it um, in the middle there. Like I said before, I have all, I have some flower dyes, but no lilies. And you need lily. That's the prompt. You need lilies. So that's all right. Um, I'm still glad that I got the dye, even though I wasn't able to use it in this prompt because lilies are I would say lilies are my favorite flower because they're just you know there's something different about them and kind of wild about them where you know they're just different even at my house I have some Japanese maples growing in the front um, we planted them when we moved in, and they're still tiny, tiny, so I don't know. Uh, actually, he better put, we bought food sticks, so I hope he puts them out. Maybe that will help them grow, but we've had them for five years, and, like, they're not even growing that much, so. The plant, the, to get them, it was, like, almost a thousand dollars, so I was like, eh, let's just buy little baby ones then. You know, how hard is it to for them to get that big? You know, and it, and it, it is. It's taken a while. And we got the kind that, um, I'm sorry, they might not be Japanese maple. I think they are Japanese maples, but they're called something else. And we got the ones that only grow to like 12 feet, so they won't be too high at all. And we have several of them right in the front of the yard and it's I feel bad because they're so little and fragile so I feel bad about that but you know we did buy some food the so because the soil in the front might not be the greatest either we have a, we have over an acre in the back and there's tons of trees and everything like that 
And everything's fine in that area, but... And in our area, in the area in the front, there's really not anything. There's one rhododendron, rhododendron bush, or whatever you call those. And I have a love-hate relationship with that thing, too. That plant, that is huge. All right, but it only looks good three weeks out of the year. It's like, who feels like it? I don't understand it. We didn't plant that. That was already there. But why? Why does it only have to last three weeks? What's the point of that? So, I don't know. All right, I'm just going to color this in a little bit. I'm going to give them a hint of red. I have no water in this brush. I just want just a little bit of red in the leaves. Not too much. Yeah, so I thought this image was cool, but, you know. So that's what we stuck with for now. And I'm just going to spray a little bit on a block because I just, just want to get the littlest bit just to extend it to the leaves, to the outer part of the leaf. I don't, don't really want a strong color at the end, just, just a little bit. Just blend it out still keep it nice and bright in the middle Alright, that's all I want. I just wanted it a little bit subtle. Then I'm going to get, um, get some lace for the sides. Now, what sucks is I really like this lace. Misty had given me that lace, but I know it's not going to be enough. Let me see what I have. Just like this isn't going to be enough. And I really don't want to do it on the side. I want to do, I mean the bottom. I want to do it both. I want to do it on the sides. Well, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to put this. On the sides like that. All right. Let me sit back down.
about that. Uh, I'm trying to go quick, but I'm also trying to make that stick good. That is too crazy, that piece. I can't be fiddling with that. It's all flopped over. Jeez, I guess this is all kind of flopped over. It's a pretty lace, though. It's hard to work with. Try this again. Just the littlest bit. Littlest bit. want it all the way there. I just kind of want it. Well, I don't think I'm going to get my way. I think it's going to do what it wants. Let's put a little bit of Linka Stella. on the white part of the skull. Oh, look at this, I'm blind. There's a lot that I missed. There's a lot of leaves I missed. Let's just go over them quickly. <coughs> These ones uh, I've colored in, well, they're shaded a lot, so I'll just put a little hint of red there. It doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be a lot. All right, let's just put some like a Stella. Actually, I will do Link of Stella on the skull. But also, maybe I won't mess it up this time. And we can put a little bit of the red Linka Stella just in the middle like this. I like that. Just a little bit. There. Gives it a little something. Alright everyone, that's my make for today. Um, Dreamland and Lilies. So I made this pocket and the skull you should be able to see Link of Stella. I guess you can't see it. I can see it, though. I can see it. And I think what I'll do is I'll get off camera and I'll kind of blend this in a little bit better so it's not just so like I want you to see that demarcation line. I'm just going to kind of go over it and blend it in a little bit more. So thanks for watching. Happy crafting and I'll catch you next time. Bye.